Acharya Shri, what does Namaste mean and how is it incomplete? Very good question. Namaste is very popular in India and it is a greetings to everyone. Whenever a person sees to other person, they always greet with the Namaste. There is another word, it is called Namaskar, and there is another word, it is called Pranam. There are few words uh, for the greetings, but Namaste is the lowest one among them. Why? Because Namaste doesn't have that kind of uh, feelings or that kind of love, what Namaskar has or Pranam has. Namaste means I bow to you. That is Namaste. But when they found out that I bow to you, Te is the uh, Sanskrit short form of Tau or Tuam. That is the I bow to you, Tuam. And this is the it seems like that you are bowing to the person. Now, when they found out it is bowing to you, they say it doesn't seem like good word to greet. So they put the meaning in it and it doesn't really, according to Sanskrit, it doesn't fit there. You say, I bow to you because I bow to you, God in you. That's what they put the word in it. But same time, the Hindu culture, they don't think that God is in you. No. They think God is only one. And when you, according to Hindu mythology, uh, they say that when you merge with God, you become just a part of God. You lost your individuality, your identity fully. Then it means there is no God in you. Because you have to do sadhana, you have to do a lot of things, and it doesn't say, it doesn't, uh, uh, even you lose your own identity. You just merge with God. They could have just says directly, I bow to God, instead of saying, I bow to you. And you is in the grip of karma. And when you are in the grip of karma, you are grip of ignorance, you are grip of darkness, you are grip in the grip of the illusions, hallucination, name it. Always dark around you. How can you bow when your soul is roaming around in the dark and ignorance that I bow to you like God in you? It doesn't make sense. But Namaskar is better word than Namaste. Namaskar means, Nama means I bow. Namaskar means I bow a lot. That's just bowing makes more sense. Because when you just bow, you don't see whom you bow. You just bow it. It is just for yourself, not for the other person. You are bowing because you want to be humble. You don't want to be egoistic. So I prefer the word Namaskar is better than Namaste. Because Namaste says, I bow to you, and Namaskar says, I bow. Bowing makes more sense. Why bowing makes more sense? Because bowing means you are crushing your own ego. And when you bow down, it is not the question who is in front of you, that whom you bowing. That is not the question. Question is that you want to bow it. It means you want to crush your ego. I will give an example. King Ashoka, he was the great king of India and he started uh, the many things in India 
for spirituality to spread all over. One day he was uh, going around in the city and suddenly he was so good to bow down. Suddenly he saw a monk uh, side to the road and uh, he ordered that stop his chariot and he wanted to bow down this monk. And his minister, his name was Yasha, and Yasha asked that, wait a minute, you are a king of king. And the monk, you don't know is coming from the lowest class or upper class or who is it, we don't know it. That your head is very important. Why are you bowing down? He said, I will answer you later, let me bow down. And he gave, he asked him next day, there is a there is a skull, skull of the dead man, just the head. And that I order you to sell it and bring the money for it. And go door to door if somebody wants to buy it. And he went, according to the king's order. And as soon as people see the skull, they get afraid. That buy, to buy it? Forget the buying. They get afraid of it. And he tried to sell the skull to everyone. Nobody wants to buy it. Instead of everybody reacted to be afraid of it. So he told the truth to the king. He said, okay. What about if it will be your head one day that somebody will buy it? Oh, no, no. Yes, answered no. What about if it will be my head one day that somebody will buy? No, sir. Nobody is going to buy. That if the value of my head is nobody going to buy even this my head, if it bow down to someone, as to the monk, to a saint, what is wrong with it? And he understood. That is bowing down means that he wants to bow down. That is not the namaste greeting. It is a bowing. And pranam is even much better word. It is also in Indian culture, pranam. Pranam means I bow, but I bow down really 100% by my heart. That is pranam. Pranam is even much better word. So that's why I always suggest people that to choose the better word. But in our Siddhayat and Tirth, we have a different greeting. And that's what I have to choose is the best one. So we chose this greeting. It is called Jai Siddhatma. Jai means be victorious. Siddhatma means, Siddha means liberated soul. Atma means soul. Siddha means liberated. Jai Siddhatma, be victorious, liberated soul. Who is liberated from suffering, pain. And all the karma, all the darkness, illusions, dust, clouds, it is fully enlightened. And they merge with God, but they keep their identity. They are in the bliss. So, in a way, Siddhatma means God. And that's what we have this greeting, Jai Siddhatma, be victorious, liberated soul. Because liberated, they are liberated from the karmas. And when they liberated from karma, they are in the bliss. So we have chosen at Siddhaitan. This is the best greeting. Jai Siddhatma. And you everyone say, Jai Siddhatma. This is the best greeting.